Well, well, well. Looks like it's an, one more day less before the end of the year. Uh, I think overall I had a uh, a good year this year for streaming, so that's that's good. That's a positive. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we're back with this still alive because i wanted to beat it and i it's hard for me to like bring myself to beat something like beat a game i don't know why um so i don't know let's see how it is uh we're probably gonna be running into the <laughs> into the uh baking cooking baking puzzle thing so I don't know how to feel about that just yet, but that's gonna kind of be a little poopy pee 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 poo poo. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and I should probably go go offline, shouldn't I? Or well, I could probably just turn off, like appear myself offline. I could probably do that. Let me see. Um, uh, oh, notifications, here we go. 
Um... Here we go. Uh, okay. For notifications. When a friend joins a game. Okay. There we go. Just turn those off. Okay. I think I should be good now. Okay. Let's start the game. I'm gonna close that out. I'm gonna switch to this bad boy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And we will start lay game and play lay session. Here we go. Oh, look, there's this fucking overlay still. <laughs> Access Steam community? Press Alt Plus slash. Oh, I forgot to turn off the background. I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me turn that off. Not to open it again. Okay. Alright, load. Here we go. So, if I recall, we need to go back down to the basement. Yeah, I think we need to go back down to the basement and go to the second floor. Nice. That should be a, a, a one of those one of those gifts. Oh, hold on. Okay. Good thing I caught that. Okay. Let's see here. So we need to head into here. What's up? Uh oh oh booby booba. Hello. There's Boopa. Merry Christmas. Happy New I Year. Don't have anything for you now. Ah, <gasps> oh, Boopa. Okay. Oh God. Stop with the Boopa. No. I I don't know what my objective is, so I should probably check the briefing, the uh, conversation here. Is this the most recent? No. Okay, here we go. Wait. Um, chapter three. Here we go. Um, I sent the address to your 4x4's nav. If you have the chance, I'll go interview the last victim's friends. Um, maybe I can talk to the other girl on the photo. So yeah, so basically this person was murdered. Uh, we're following a serial killer and we're trying to find who murdered this person. And they recently broke in. This was in the last thing. But they broke in and stuffed a photo of their next victim inside their um, their stomach. There's like a little slit right there. Um, they just were able to just access this area somehow. I don't know how they gained access to this area yet. And um, there's no way for us to know who it is still. And recently, she's been, um, something, that's like Jojo Part 4, I've never seen that. Um, I don't watch Jojo, I don't watch that, because it's, it's, uh, it's, it seems kind of cringe. Here we go. Look at that old car that she judges so harshly, and now we can get in. This is a new angle. What's going on here? This was not in the thing before. Alright, so we have a new area to go to, which is flashing over here at the campus. I thought you were gay. I'll make sure to ask every gay person I meet if they've watched JoJo to see if that's true. There's this person just kind of here. We're just going to ignore them, I guess. Sorry, lady. All right, so we have multiple doors. Looks like we're going to this door specifically. Who is it? Agent McPherson, These nuts. FBI. I have a few questions I'd like to ask you, if you have the time. I have time for the pretty agent. May I come in? Sure. Sure. Jeez, sorry I asked. What? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. Did you know a Natalie Kenworth? Look, it's me, yes. IRL. So I imagine you also know that she was murdered about a month ago. Yes, and I already talked to a police officer about her. 
Yeah, I know, but I would appreciate if you could remind me. How did you know her? Friend? Just a classmate? Were you intimate? I was her tutor. She was studying in criminology, and I was helping her with some of her classes. She came here often. Do you know Cynthia Woods? Cynthia Woods? No, I don't Cynthia think... Cynthia Woods. Are you sure? <laughs> Maybe a photo would help. Oh, yes. I have seen her before. She's my neighbor's friend. I saw her at a party. That picture was taken there. A student in criminology, huh? Did you ever get Professor Pratt? No, but I know him. I've had several conversations about weird unsolved cases. Whoa! So you're not close to Cynthia? No, she's more my neighbor's friend. I think I saw her twice in all, at the party and once in the hallway. But why? She was found brutally murdered in an abandoned apartment building. You don't think that... Hey, I'm always in here working on my thesis. I never go out. I went to Mia's party because she invited me. I think she invited me so I wouldn't complain about the noise. Uh-oh. Does he still have bad B.O.? B.O.? Body odor. In other words, he stinks. <laughs> yes, he still does. This guy's sus. Sussy. <laughs> Sussy. Yes, she's my neighbor. Your thesis, what's the subject? I like how we keep going back between subjects. It happened in the late 20s. Well, you don't say. Are you familiar with the case? You could say that, yes. By the way, their mouth is not supposed to move like that. It's supposed to be slower, but I think because they're playing at a higher resolution or a higher frame rate, then the mouth is like kind of like glitching out. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Sure, I'll even print you up a copy. Okay, can I have the copy now? Can I have the copy now? Sure. <laughs> All right. While well, he's going over, the oh damn, this place is a fucking. This is a sex cave. I should swipe something to get prints. This guy's a fucking Chad. It's not a sample of semen that I want, but fingerprints. Here you are. Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to read it. I guess it really is a sex cave. Have the time. Will do. You're not planning on leaving the country. No. Fine. Thanks for your cooperation, and I'll keep in touch. Fine. <laughs> Stuart Little. He had like the the shirt. All right. Let's see here. Hello? Hey, it's me. What's up? Average Discord Nothing mod much. apartment. I was just calling to say I was on my way to visit Vicky's <laughs> roommate. Maybe that that was a pussy a slayer cave. You know he Victor. goes to so many no parties. She is. She's a back He's the boy. kind of guy that the brings the, the good go? kind of punch Anyways, he doesn't fit the profile, to the cult that he's in. Something with Prince. I'm taking he brings the, 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 the delicious Kool-Aid. But we can't use it though if he checks out. I know. Call me if you get anything interesting. Discord mod we'll cult. Will do. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna put my thing on night mode. <laughs> Going to his kittens. We're here today as the Discord mods, as we try to summon the great Allah. All right. What would Discord mods try to summon in their cult? Uh, let's see here. So what do they want me to do? I guess I'm going to, um, I guess I'm going to the office, right? The owner. <laughs> we come here today to summon the owner. Alright, uh, so... Let me check the information. Chapter 3. Scroll down here. Um, he's harmless anyways. He doesn't fit the profile, but I did nick a little something with prints. I'm taking it over to Claire for comparisons. Okay. So yeah, that's what we gotta do. Thank God there's logs. 
There's apparently a prequel to this game, but I don't know the name of it. Kind of like uh, the prequel to Heavy Rain was um, Fahrenheit something. I think it was just called Fahrenheit, the game. Which is like this really... Apparently, it's it's really bad. But, I don't know. I'll have to give it a try. I only know the intro because it's kind of uh, neat. It's about a guy who... Um, accidentally murdered somebody uh and there's a police officer in the the same diner and the, he needs to hide the body and get out of there without being seen by the police officer it's a really neat intro to the game which uh was uh really really uh i was really curious about it oh my god can you check this bottle out for prints and compare them to the partials you got on victims four and five i don't uh, think we'll hit anything but i'm curious Curiosity killed the cat, but a cat has nine lives. Uh, Let's stop the cliches before someone gets shot. Can you at uh, least extract the prints for me? Oh Once my extracted, god! extracted, the computer can compare the partials. Sure. Remind me where the stuff is. The powder's upstairs. Just don't my desk be weird about it. Machine, along with the brush and lifting tape. When it's very done, um. Print and I'll handle the rest down here. Okay. I'll mature. This is a mature game. It's not like anything weird. What did she want me to do? Where's the equipment for lifting the prints again? Upstairs. Upstairs on my desk. Sweetie, I think it's about time for your dose of caffeine. How about you, uh... Probably. How on about... Desk, right? Yes, near the plastifying machine. This person's okay, dead. That, that's a dead person, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. So, be respectful, please. Fucking, it's not, it's not like a, like a, an alien and like the, you you know those like alien said that earlier? It's obvious! She's not just walking into a, <laughs> what? It's so obvious, don't act stupid, dude. How do you see, oh my god, did you think it was just a fake body? I don't know. Why are we doing? Why is there a big slit cut open in their stomach if it's a coma? Why aren't they in a hospital and they're at a police station? <laughs> have you been to a police station where they have someone in a coma? That won't work. I can't just use the brush. That's not going to work. I need to see them before lifting them. That won't work. A plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. <laughs> Anesthesia. At a police station? Uh. Hmm. A plastifier. This a plastifier. Very practical. That won't work. Hmm. That's not going to work. I need to see them before lifting them. Okay. Oh, there we go. This is gray powder, useful for finding latent prints. Okay. Grab the brush. Now you'll let me di uh, dip it on. Then I brush it, do the other side, dip it. I can't just use the brush. Okay, so never mind. Put that up. Grab this. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. A plastifier. Oh my this God. little machine can be very practical. This little machine can be very practical. I can't use that here. What do you mean? This will do nicely for prints. There you go. What? Okay, so I had to specifically click the thing. Okay. A plastifier. A plastifier. This little, very this little machine could be very practical. That won't work. That won't work. Okay, did I do it? I have the fingerprint. Now I'll go talk to her again. There was an order. Yeah, order these nuts. Um, do you know how to make cookies by chance? 
I'm 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 just curious. Do you know how to make the the cookies? Why did I actually click out of the game? Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Hold on. No, I can't cook. I forgot to quick save. <sighs> I forgot to save. Wait, hold on. I have an idea. This might work. Edit. Add. No, wait. Add. Did the game crash? Not technically, but game like old games like this, you have to, um... You have to, like, be careful. Because if you alt tab sometimes, like with this game, if I, if I, it's just, it's like a bug. And this is just this game came out in two thousand five. the The whole way of doing it is just kind of like a pain in the ass. It, it's hard. It's hard to explain, but like, um, alt tabbing out of older games can often cause the game to bug out. Uh, since there's no such thing as as borderless full screen, so I'm gonna have to do this shit all over again. So speed run. Welcome back to the beginning of the stream. Nothing happened. All right, Vast Ahoy. Whoa, Vast Ahoy. All right, let's go. <laughs> Nothing happened at all. We're just playing the game again. That first couple bit uh, of information that we just got. Th this time we know exactly what we're doing. Um, and there's no way to skip the text, so we're just going to have to do it again. <laughs> Whoa, that's the hoy. Anyways, yeah, so um, one of the mission, or one of the puzzles we're going to have to do involves me um, baking cookies. But the... Uh, but the pa the puzzle is written in like weird code. Who is it? Oh, okay. I can hit space. I can hit space to skip it. Did you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does he speak? He. He. Oh yeah. He. He. Do you? Hee 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 hee. Now's my chance. I should. Hee hee. Grab this. Take your time. I want to believe this. poster just hanging out. Thanks. I will not. Bye. Easy. All right, let's go. And that's how you do it, baby. Speed run. <laughs> All right. All right. Get in. Get in. And we're pretty much back to where we were. Let's just head back to the office, go over here. We're going to take the prints up first and see if that changes anything. Or or maybe I should probably just talk to her first and then do that. Let's just talk to her first just in case so I don't waste my time. Alright. Here we go. Skirt. 
No more booba. No booba. Hi, Claire. Hey. Hi. Uh, here. Oh my god, hold on. I will stand right here specifically. Oh my god. Talk. Where's the equipment? Up. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ba 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 ba. In. Uh. All right. Let's go to the eighth floor. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, let me save. Perfect. Alright, cool. Now we don't have to worry about it. Ba bam. Alright, this time we're gonna do it right. This is gray powder, useful for finding latent prints. This will do nicely for prints. This will do nicely for prints. Okay. We did it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Follow me. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. B2. That stands for basement 2. All right. All right. Uh, here. I'm all done with the prints. I'm all done with the prints. I'll have the results soon. Where are you off to now? Back to my dad's. I've got some reading to do. Well, okay. I'll call you if I get something. <gasps> okay, thanks a lot. Looks like we're gonna be doing the fun puzzle. Alright. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Time to head back home. Time to make cookies for Pop E. Dad. Ba 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 Let's head to Pat's house. All right. It's going to play the cool song. Get ready. Hey, sweetheart. Hi, Dad. When do you think you can do those cookies? Oh, jeez. Sorry, Dad, I forgot. I have time now. Sorry, Dad. Oh, it's okay. It's not a problem, Dad. A promise is a promise. I will make those fucking cookies, you fucking bitch. Okay. Looks like it's time to do the cookie, the cookie puzzle. I might have to pull up a, uh, like a, just a, a general guide. I'm not going to look up, like, how to do the puzzle, but a general guide to how to make cookies specifically. Um. What did I just do? Okay. You legit need to know how to make cookies to progress. Technically, no. Um, you could solve this without it, but it, it helps to know how to make cookies, which is what I was saying. It would help to know. 
um, because they, they do measurements. They don't read the actual ingredients that you need to do. Um, they don't read them out properly, like one cup of love, a half cup of generosity, two cups of commitment, one cup of sweetness, a half cup of integrity, one tablespoon of romance, um, one teaspoon of sensuality, and one common sense. So the common sense is the egg. Romance might be sugar or one cup of sweetness, which might be the sugar. Um, it's just kind of like, and then it's, it reads in a specific way. Any bowl, cream together, generosity, sweetness, and love, um, uh, and love to give your man a sweetheart, right? So we need to do generosity, sweetness, and love. So sweetness would be a cup of sweetness, a two cups of commitment. All I know is that two cups of commitment is the flour and one cup, uh, one common sense is the egg. That's all I know. Um, commitment, it makes sense because commitment is like, oh, the flour brings everything together. But that would make sense, I guess, in that way. Uh, one teaspoon of sensuality. That might be the... What is this? I can't really click on it. I don't even know what this is. And I can't, like, look at it. So. This is the milk. Oh, you hover over it. Cinnamon. Ginger. This is brown sugar flour then we have butter and we have eggs this is i guess this is a cup or is this a cup this is this is two cups right and this is one cup this is a teaspoon and this is a tablespoon and this is mol molasses which i've never used before I don't even know anything about molasses, milk, and then there's the mixer here where we put everything. Um, okay, so, in a bowl, cream together, generosity, which is half a cup of generosity. That would be half a cup. <laughs> oh, great. Let me just get a cup of butter. <laughs> so this is a half a cup this is an actual cup right here so this is a cup this is half a cup okay and then <laughs> let me just get a full cup of butter there we go and then okay so and a bowl, cream together, generosity, sweetness, and love to give your man a sweetheart. So a love is a cup, sweetness is a cup, and generosity is half a cup. Would that be, would that actually be butter though, generosity? A cup of love would probably be the milk. That doesn't seem right, would it? flower flower doesn't come in until to give him devotions simply sift together commitment sensuality and romance blend devotion to his sweetheart <laughs> finally add add intelligence a mix of common sense and integrity and beat it with the rest uh, to make your perfect man. Give him a form and place it in the oven. The other stuff is just flavor text. But um, whenever it mentions a mix of common sense and integrity. That's about it for the final one. For the second one, they want you to do commitment and sensuality. Um, so the egg and integrity. Half a cup of integrity. 
Okay, so this might be integrity. Molasses. I don't know what the fuck molasses is. Maybe sensuality is milk because it's liquid. Perhaps. But so is uh molasses, I think. I don't know what molasses is. Hold on. Let's let's pull up the um let's pull up the uh old chrome. Let's see here. What is molasses? Molasses is a sweetener. Oh, molasses is a black treckle is a vicious, uh, a viscous substance resulting from, yeah, it's very vicious, it's, uh, vicious, it's evil, uh, it, it attacks you, resulting from refining sugar cane and sugar beets into sugar. Molasses varies the amount of sugar, method of extraction, age of plant. Okay, so let's do, let's do a cookie recipe, just classic cookie Cookie recipe. Not chocolate chip, like, it's like a gingerbread cookie. I think. Because there's no chocolate chips in this. Um. There's a lot of types of cookies. Oh, great. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, I think just any cookie recipe would do. Let's see here. So we need, okay. So we need flour. Okay, hold on. Measure a cup of flour. Okay. Let's see here. So once butter sugar mixture is beaten, add the eggs and vanilla to beat. So I guess the molasses is the vanilla that they use instead of using like vanilla extract. This is lots of chocolate chips. Oh my god, cookie dough looks so good. Oh my god. I used to eat raw cookie dough. Uh, raw cookie dough. Okay, first step is easy step. So, make sure to measure the flour correctly. I'm measuring. Yeah, we don't do flour yet. Next, cream together butter and sugar. Make sure to soften the butter early by taking it out of the fridge at least two hours. How much butter do you want to put in there? That looks like a full stick. You know what's the problem with this uh, dumbass website is that they don't give you sp specific measurements. They just tell you, oh, this throw this together. Jump to recipe. Here we go. Actually, give me the fucking recipe. Okay. Now give me the instructions. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's with the, like, random amount of text at the beginning. Let me move this to, like, over here, and we'll just kind of figure it out. Um, let's see, will the game open up this time? Yes, okay. Game opened up. Let me go ahead and bam, bam, bam. There you go. Alright, so. <clears throat> instructions. In a separate bowl, mix a uh, bowl, mix flour, baking soda, salt, baking powder, set aside cream. So in this one, we don't really have cream per se. We have um, we have brown sugar, we have milk, and we have molasses. I think the first one is is how much? Okay, so which one is half a cup or a teaspoon? So a tablespoon would be probably the sugar or half a cup would be the sugar. Generosity. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, half a cup. There you go. Uh, generosity. So we do half a cup of sugar. Brown sugar. Right? Then sweetness, which is a cup. So sweetness would probably be molasses, right? Okay. And love. So love would probably be ginger. Ginger, uh, yeah, ginger. Um. No, oh shoot, hold on, put that up. Um, what was it again? Love is. 
Love is one cup. Okay, so I was right. So one cup of ginger. So it's all the sweeteners going first, I guess, right? To give your man a sweetheart. So yeah, they're all sweet related for the first one. So generosity. So yeah, it would be sugar, uh, ginger, and molasses would go together, right? And then, so now it's the stuff that combines it and like brings it together, right? So commitment could be the, commitment is two cups. So that's the flour, Okay. Sensuality. Sensuality. One teaspoon. Cinnamon? And then romance is... No, yeah, sensuality is a teaspoon and romance is... Hmm. Because we need the milk, right? Integrity would probably be the milk. And common sense would be the egg. So egg and milk goes last. Okay. That would make sense to me. Um, so sensuality. What have we not done? So we need to do butter. So maybe a tablespoon of butter. And romance would be the cinnamon. So the, the cinnamon would be the teaspoon. So we need to do... Sensuality, which is the teaspoon of cinnamon, right? Okay. Cinnamon. And then romance would be the butter. And then fine and then I guess next would be common sense and milk. So an egg. And then milk, which milk is integrity, which is a half cup. A half cup of milk would go into there. And then place it into the oven. Let's see. No, this doesn't taste right. Shit. Okay. <laughs> what am I wrong about? <laughs> That's, that's the that's the question. What am I wrong about? <laughs> it kind of made sense, but I think the the difference is I think molasses might be the romance. I think molasses is romance. A teaspoon is the cinnamon. I think that's the difference. So generosity would have to be the sh I mean it has to be the sugar, right? So half a cup of sugar. There definitely needs to be more butter. Right? And then sweetness. Which would be... How much is sweetness? One cup. Milk? I mean, is milk even considered sweet? I think mil maybe milk would be love. What is love again? Love is one cup, so maybe maybe its sweetness is the ginger. Sweetness is one cup of ginger? Hmm. You know what's the sad part? Is that this might not even be a cup, and this is the cup. And I had it right the first time. I just got them wrong. Even though there's no way for me to do half a cup anyway, so never mind. So one cup of ginger. Okay. And then love would be one cup of love, which I guess would be the milk. And then, you know what's the weirdest part? Is that you literally throw all of this stuff together. Cup and bigger cup. Well, they, there's half cups and you can't half it. So, if I were to able to somehow half this, then yeah. Oh my god. I completely forgot. I didn't know you had to do that. You know what's the fucked up part? Is that I probably got it right the first time.
<laughs> Probably got it right the first time. Let me try this again, but actually, like, mix it instead. Let's see. So, generosity was half a cup, and generosity is the sugar. So, half a cup of brown sugar. And then sweetness, which would be a cup of molasses, right? I think that's what I did. And then love, which was a cup as well, which is the ginger. So these two go together. You mix them up. Right? Oh, wait. In a bowl, you put them together, then you mix it after you add these two. Okay. So we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to mix it after we do the second part. So we do... Because it makes sense, they're all just liquid. So that makes sense. Um, so we do half a cup of generosity. So half a cup of sugar. Um, sweetness, which is one cup of molasses. And then... One and love to give your man, and love is one cup. So a love, which would be this. It's either that or it's the opposite where half a cup might be something else. So put those together. And then commitment, which is flour, two cups of commitment. So one, two, Commitment, sensuality. What did I say for sensuality? One teaspoon. Oh, okay, so that was the teaspoon could be the cinnamon, and then the romance is the butter. And then blend it together. Finally, add a mix of common sense and integrity and beat it with the rest. Okay, so common sense, which is the egg, and then integrity, which is the milk, which is half a cup. And mix it together. Either that or the integrity is the butter. And now place it into the oven. Let's see if I somehow, if my original idea was right. No, this no, doesn't okay. taste right. No, okay. So I was wrong. But there may be some option, like, there may be some parts where it's wrong. So generosity, which is a half a cup. Sweetness. So I think these two, because they're, they're powdered, right? Maybe these two are... Romance and sensuality. So since, or wait, sorry, sensuality might be, um, I don't even know what the fuck does sensuality sensuality even mean. <laughs> what does sensuality mean? And I'm not. I've never used that word before. The enjoyment, expression, or pursuit of physical, especially sexual pleasure. Do you use cinnamon for sexual pleasure? Oh, there's the game. That's what the game looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart it. Rip. Okay. Well, it's worth a try. I don't think this this I don't think this video or whatever it's called. Um the I don't think that that website was really helping to begin with. For sensitive. Apparently it means sexual behavior. It means sex. Apparently. Alright, let's try this again. 
So we need generosity, sweetness, and love to uh, to give your man a sweetheart. Generosity, which is a cup, half a cup. So I think I think um, sensuality and romance, which are cinnamon and ginger. I don't even know if it matters when we put it in. I don't think it matters on when we put it in. We just have to figure out what it is. Or, like, I'm, I'm, I see, I mean, like, in the order. I don't think it matters what order we put it in as long as we put it in in this part right here, you know? So we put these in first. It doesn't matter which order we put it in. We just have to figure out what it is. So sensuality and romance, I think, is these two. And, um... Because they're the smallest portions, and these are powders. Usually you want to do these in a smaller portion, um, I would assume. And then commitment, of course, is, is flour. So that's that's obviously flour. We know that the common sense is the egg. Um, integrity, I think, might be the butter. Half a cup of butter. That would make sense. So common sense, and so an egg and butter goes in last instead of milk. So milk might be, uh, so milk might be generosity. Um, it's either generosity or love. I think love might be a cup. I think a cup of, of milk, right? Sometimes you want to add a cup of milk. Okay, so generosity would be half a cup of molasses sweetness would be a cup of sugar and love would be milk so half a cup of molasses a cup of milk and a cup of brown sugar go in there then we do Two things of this. Then we do... So sensuality is... Is a teaspoon. So a teaspoon of cinnamon. Because cinnamon is usually... You don't want to put too much cinnamon in stuff. Just because of how potent it is. And ginger would be a tablespoon. Right? And then you blend them... You blend it together... I don't know if we want to blend it now. I guess we do. I don't think it hurts, but... I think this might be it. Common sense and integrity. Integrity is... Half a cup, okay? And then common sense is an egg, okay? So an egg, and then half a cup of butter. And then blend it together, again. We either only have to do that one time... Or a second time, I don't know. No, this doesn't taste right. Maybe I'm getting confused by the blend part right here. Maybe we don't blend it. So generosity molasses. It's either that or the milk is the generosity. So we're gonna do what we did before, where we do the sugar the the milk and then we do the two flower one oh um if you want to you can look at the um you can look at the puzzle this the solution for this puzzle and you can just give me hints on if i'm doing it wrong or not uh commitment we did that and then a teaspoon of cinnamon and then ginger would go here. Either that or the tablespoon where it says romance is molasses. In that case, then the ginger would be the one we use more of. This doesn't make sense. And then common sense. And a half cup of integrity. Yeah, half of a cup of butter goes into here. If this is wrong, then I'm probably doing it wrong. No, this doesn't taste right. Okay. 
generosity, sweetness. Generosity, sweetness, and love. So, maybe generosity is the milk. For that's, that's half a cup. So, half a cup of milk. And then for sweetness, it would be one cup. Okay, so one cup of molasses. And a cup of sugar. Okay. Give them demotion. And then blend them. Um. Simply sift through. Sift together. So yes, we do need to blend it. Because sifting is blending it. Like it's the part of the blender that you sift the, the thing. Um, commitment, sensuality, and romance. Commitment, the flower. And then sensuality, which would be the... I, I, I feel like this is right, this part here with the romance and the sensuality. I feel like I'm doing that part right as well. You sift it together. Okay. And then add a common sense and integrity. And blend it together. Let's see. No, this doesn't taste right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Maybe the milk goes in. No, the milk it has to be the milk has to be either I would just google it. Yeah, but then I'd lose. I haven't had the cheat for a puzzle yet, other than when I did it, and then I clicked the wrong button, and then it reset the puzzle, even though I did it, because I was afraid that the button that you clicked that would reset the puzzle normally, um, would reset the puzzle. So I was afraid that I was, I don't know. In a bowl, cream together generosity, sweetness, and love to give your man a sweetheart. Generosity is half a cup. Okay. Half a cup. Maybe that's sugar. Because you need a lot of sugar, right? Half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of sugar. No. Half a cup of sugar. Okay. Sweetness and love. Sweetness would be... So they're a cup of something. So sweetness, I guess, would be... No, there's no way you have to put that much cinnamon in this. That doesn't make sense. So, yeah, sweetness. And then I guess love would be milk. I... You put those together, right? Commitment, sensuality, and romance. Maybe maybe it's the opposite. Oh my god, I forgot to mix them. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. I'm just gonna. No, this doesn't taste. Uh, okay. 
Fine. Fine. I don't. I. I. I suck at cooking. Okay. So the puzzle is love is milk. I was right about that. Generosity is butter. And sweetness is sugar. So you put milk, butter, and sugar in first. Integrity is molasses. Romance is ginger. And sensuality is cinnamon. I knew it. I knew it. And then common sense is the egg. So I did get sensuality and cinnamon or sensuality and romance right. The only thing I did not get right was the um was the generosity and the integrity. Those were the two things I did not get right. Okay. All right. So integrity is half a cup. So we do generosity which is half a cup of butter so i knew that was supposed to go in here right so half a cup of butter then it's sweetness which is of course sugar wait uh sweetness is one cup of sweetness yep okay and then what was next and then love which is milk love is one cup okay Ba bam ba bam right and then i fucking i hate that i couldn't fucking do it i'm so fucking mad <sighs> two cups of commitment Sensuality, which is half a tea, which is a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. I knew that was gonna be the smallest portion. It just makes sense because cinnamon fucking goes hot off. It goes off, Umfi. And then you blend those together, I guess. And then. mix of common sense which is an egg and then integrity which is half a cup of molasses blend it together and that should be right no this doesn't taste right i'm gonna fucking kill you <laughs> I'm gonna murder. Half cup of butter, one cup of sugar, one cup of milk, in the bowl, and mix. Okay, so that's where I mess messed up. So they want you to mi mix it three times. That's the part that I messed up. Uh, where? Why doesn't it say anywhere in here? In the fuck it? Oh my God, I have to restart it again. Uh Are you still here? <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Let's do this again. I'm I'm just so fucking mad. <laughs> This is a, the one puzzle I couldn't do, and it's because of, it's cooking. Fucking cooking. Oh, great. I don't even remember. Generosity was the, um, was the butter, so a half cup of butter. And then sweetness, which was the sugar. And then milk is love. You have to mix it together. All right, now you do commitment. This is a puzzle though. 
You have to solve this. Sensuality. That, mix it together. And then, egg. Then half a cup of molasses. Okay. That's done. This tastes right. God, <laughs> the cookies are in the oven. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was so close to getting it right though. If I did if I spent, sat there for maybe another like an hour. I could have eventually gotten it. The part that I did not I would have not gotten is the part where I had to mix the first one the fir again. Like I had to mix it 3 times. I because there was nowhere where it said in the encrypted text uh, to mix the first time it just said put them together in a bowl it didn't say anything like blend together this and this so that was just kind of annoying don't forget the cookies dad oh i won't sweetheart oh i won't sweetheart okay dad all right what do i do now that I'm on probation, that's another thing. I think she's on probation right now. Um, okay, let's see. Skirt. <clears throat> I'll call you if I get something. Okay, so I have some reading to do. Okay, so I need to go back and work on... I need to keep listening to that story that she was reading before. Um... Which you, you probably don't know about, but that's something that we gotta go do. Go into here. No, it's not in here. This is a nice house, though. Uh, is it in here? Her room? Yeah, here we go. No, oh, I won't, sweetie. And we're gonna keep reading about the guy who is hunting someone else. The poor kid was badly scarred. Yes. The, the better story. Before she finally escaped to the street. The better story. Found her and brought her here. She's only sixteen, for God's sake. I promised her that I'd help her in any way I could if she would help me find the killer. So she opened up and told me her story. Can I keep this? Yes. I'm Gustav McPherson. I'm a private eye hired to help find and arrest the person who attacked you. I'm Vladana Tominova. I haven't said that in a long time. I'm usually just Vladana. Do you feel up to a few questions? I can always come back later. No, that's okay. You can ask me questions if you wish, but I'm afraid I won't be much help. Hmm. <laughs> Besides the sketch you gave me, can you describe your attacker with a, a little more detail? The top hat was black, and so was his cloak. The mask was silver white. It had motifs on it, but nothing I can describe accurately. Hmm. When were you attacked? About two months ago. Where did it happen? It happened near the park. I was coming back from Mark's studio and... Su su studio It was very foggy that evening. I heard someone walking in front of me. I'm gonna do some stretch as well. I can hear his footsteps getting closer and closer. I stopped when I suddenly saw a silhouette appear behind the fog. Ah, a ah, man in a top hat wearing a dark cloak was standing in front of me. I froze. I couldn't move. I was absolutely terrified. Hmm. What happened next? He approached slowly. I noticed that he was wearing a mask when he walked out of the fog. He looked like death itself. I hadn't noticed how close Yo, poggers. He took a swift swing. Poggers. As he did, I let out a scream. At first, I thought he had missed me, but then I noticed the metallic taste in my mouth. Uh-oh. I put my hand to my face and looked at it. It was full of blood. Then I felt a cold sensation in my chest, followed by a sharp pain. Then another. Then another. 
I screamed what seemed to be my last breath. <laughs> I fainted after that. I woke up in here. He'd stabbed me over and over. It's a miracle I'm still alive. Hmm. How did you end up here in this joint? Roman found me. He was the one who scared off the killer. He heard me screaming, so he ran in the direction of the commotion. I don't know much about that. You should ask him. Uh, okay. You mentioned earlier that you left Mark's place the night you were attacked. Who's Mark? Mark is a local artist. Most of the girls know him. I think he's painted all of us at least once. Hmm. A painter, you say? Very curious. Was Mark acting strange that night, or was it business as usual? Everything was fine until Inspector Skalnik showed up. Ah, uh, okay. Inspector Skalnik talked to Mark. What did they talk about? I didn't really pay attention to what they were saying, but they were arguing about something. When Skalnik left, Mark told me to get dressed and leave. He told me he wasn't feeling well enough to continue. Was he angry? He was, but he made a good effort not to show it. So I left quietly without saying a word besides good night. You know the um the cookie puzzle is hard when or like just dumb or whatever you want to describe it as when that's the only guide that first immediately pops up when you open up the community tab for this game on steam that is like the first pu the other puzzles i did i saw nothing about i had to actually specifically solve those like i legitimately had had to solve those and i to be fair probably think that those were more difficult than the cookie puzzle but i could have i could have been able to solve the cookie puzzle with time it's just obviously general, Mark was always I don't have all the time in the world. Yes, always cordial, very polite and well behaved. Yet he would give us double what we charge a client for the time we spent posing. It was a lot better work, let me tell you. I only posed for him once, and I wish I could do it again. I think it's uh it depends on how you feel about Where it. Can I find Mark? Whether or not you think it's His a good puzzle is in or not. Front of the canal near the old wall. Well, Thanks for answering my pesky questions. This game gives you very little hints on solving puzzles. You just have to have common sense on how it is, basically. Um, because, like, the thing is, is every puzzle we've done so far, there's very little evidence of how to solve them, or if there's an indication that you need to solve this right now. Um, earlier in this guy's uh, story, there was a puzzle... That I did, which involved you needing to count um, to like a certain amount. Oh, this area is nice and safe now. Um, that needs you to count to. There's like a piece of paper that you have, and it's like okay, seven four one eight. Um, one eight like two. You know, it's just a, a string of like eight or so numbers. Is that Big Bertha. Um, Big Bertha? Maybe I can build some bookshelves with those. Oh yeah, the characters have like this weird like sense of humor that's not really funny. The other puzzle you did was clever. Which one? Were you here for that one? I haven't done any puzzles since. Oh, you were talking about the forensics thing? Yeah, that that wasn't even a puzzle. That was just doing it in the right order. Order. <laughs> it wasn't even a puzzle. Hi. It was just me being stupid. Do you scare your new friends like that all the time? I'm sorry for what happened. The chain doesn't usually break. It was funny to see your face, though. <laughs> I always do the same gag to the new guys. What do you do for Otokar besides roughing people up? I hurt people that Otokar doesn't like, like I did to you. Yes, well, that's what I meant. Besides hurting people, what do you do for him? No besides, I just hurt them. You're not very quick. 
<laughs> but you make me laugh. <laughs> okay, I guess that's my cue, Peter. I'll leave you to your hurting people. But I think you should cut down on the raw meat gag. I need a new pair of shorts. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have to fix the chain. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, Robert. Um, I'll show I'll show you where it was because if you leave this area, it should pop up. Maybe let's see. There's this fucker who parked the car here. There's a cat here that's just kind of hiding. Um, okay, so we got some information on where we need to go next. We're currently in Linden. London. Linden Tipton. Um, so in, that's where we need to go. We need to go here, to Mark's place. But we won't do that just yet. So, um, if you go to Burned Neighborhood Police Station, um, here it is, the Old Chapel. Oh, our character's American, in case you're wondering. He's not British. Um... I don't need to talk to him. Ah, uh, I can't show you it. I don't want to um, just for chit -chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and save real quick then. I'll go ahead and do a little saber Rooney. Um, I would like to show you it. Uh, I'm just gonna pause it. This usually should be fine. Me pausing it. Uh, let me go ahead and open up the last vod. Uh, where I played this, so I can just show you the puzzle in general. Uh, another. Other shit. Okay. Go to channel. Shut me up. And go to... Where is it? Still life. Here we go. Uh, let's go to the first puzzle. Oh, this one was, was a good puzzle here. Uh, so this puzzle involved me needing to find out the code for... Um, yeah. okay, well, this one involved me needing to find a code to open up the, um, the room to the, uh, to the forensics area, or whatever it's called, um, I forgot what it is, I think it's forensics, in here, you had to find out the code to this, because your old code doesn't work, and you were given a new key card, um, and this one's very, very simple, you swipe it, oh, it didn't work, and, um, nothing happened, she tries to put in her coat. Her old code doesn't work. So, um, then I looked at it because if you look at it by inspecting the item, it mentions here you, there's a pin um, that has been reset, and you have to find out the new pin. So, I I tried swiping it, and then I was like, okay, so I need an access card. I can't put anything in here. Um, so. Let's see. When do I when do I grab it or look at it? Let's see how f fucking long it takes me here. I guess I I check to see if there's. <laughs> Thank God. I check to see if there's if there's a thing. Here we go. Um. So I swipe it. Put in something. No. Um. I. So what I first thought was that in the in the notebook they mention your badge number. And I thought that that might be the pin, but it isn't. Um, obviously, that wouldn't make sense. So I swiped it again and tried it again. Uh, oh, actually, I checked. This time I checked to see how many numbers you could put in to fill it up. Because they're not just going to have you just do four, which was her badge number. So obviously, that's not it. So then I, I guess I swiped it again. And then I tried it one more time. Eight, six, three... Which didn't work. Let's see. When do I when do I look at it? Two. I think I'm just pushing random numbers. At this point, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh shit! I actually figured it out. Okay, so I actually skipped the thing on when I figured out to look at the the piece of shit. Let's see. When do I look at it? Let's see here. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to, like, go back to it. Let's see. So I swipe it, and then nothing happens. Okay. So I read the note, 
where it says here security card mimbo and i see here 5903 right here which i thought that might be the code that would make sense but it's not uh it's it's clearly not the um the pa the uh the puzzle the pa the, the thing solution let's see what apparently within the 5 seconds that i look at my card <laughs> that I skipped because I think it skips like five seconds five or thirty seconds whenever you use the uh, skip button so I swipe it I put in five nine oh two or sorry oh three which isn't it I need an access card and that doesn't work so when do I look at it <laughs> when do I when do I look at the thing? I, I check this to see if there's any information about it on here, which it doesn't. There is no information. Oh my god. You fucking idiot, just <laughs> Just check the card! It's like it's like Resident Evil where you check the items to like find out the code to the the door or like put in like a jewel into like a treasure object it's not that difficult come on look at the card there you go i look at it so this is what it is so from this i'm looking at it and this is 583 right here clearly then it says no no and this is vodka no vodka that's obviously number i didn't see the 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 colon so i didn't know that that was i just thought it's thought it's just randomly said no vodka for no reason <laughs> so now i test to see how long the number is i did 583 that didn't work and then this is where i think i test to see how many uh numbers it is to uh get the answer here so let's see so i look i swipe it and then i just click a random ones to see how many it is okay so it's five and there was only one other uh, solution to do, which was vodka. So I swipe it, and then I pu start putting in vodka. V O D, and then I run out of time. So then I'm like, okay, I guess I have to do it faster. Swipe V O D A, and then I fuck it up, and then it's V O D K A. V O D K A. And then there you go, it works. And that's how I solved that first puzzle, as far as I know, or like one of the puzzles. Um, this one was hard to do. This one actually frustrated me. Um, so the goal was to get, basically you needed to get two diamonds here, two diamonds here, and a heart in the middle. And each one of them rotated differently. Um, this one is a hard puzzle to do. Like even it, when you know how to do it it's really frustrating to do it so eventually i did do it um that was kind of a pain in the ass this one was the most satisfying puzzle so far because i actually was able to solve it here it is so there's a safe here in this guy's morgue um right here and your goal is to get numbers uh they're all encrypted in symbols and the only hint you're given is a little clock where you get the numbers from, which I didn't go check yet. And I was just trying to guess what they meant from just looking at them, which kind of helps. Um, but that's pretty much it. You literally have to guess it. Um, you're given like one hint from like a clock. Uh, I have like the piece of paper, which I don't, I guess I don't look at for a bit. Let's see here. Oh yeah, here's the clock. So there's a clock right here they have to look at. This clock is your indication of how to solve it. This is what you get. These two aren't even on there. So clearly on the clock, this is three. This is six. What is this one? This one kind of looks like a different symbol, and this one looks like a different symbol. So from that information you're given, you're like, okay, I guess I'll have to try to figure it out here. So then I put them in. And this one is one, this one's two, this one's three. That's clearly one, two, and three, right? 
That's clearly what it is. This one has to be six. I'm putting them in order so I can kind of get an idea. This one kind of looks like, um, so if that one was nine, this one kind of looks like eight. So this probably is eight. This one is probably four because of how it looks. Um, compared to these, it starts looking a little bit crazy. Um, and this one looks closest to 12, but obviously this, it only goes up to eight. So that's clearly not, that's clearly not 12. So that has to be something else. Um, because nine is a number that we can't even, uh, we don't even have here go up to. So this one is eight. This one I think is seven. This one is, I think six. This one no, no, this one's six, this one is seven, this one's eight, this one's five, and this one's four. And I think that was the solution. And then you put in, there's like a, a little piece of paper that you have. Let me show you it um, whenever I bother to pull it up. So n right now I'm just trying to figure out which one's which. This one's actually a pretty s satisfying puzzle whenever you figure it out, which I eventually did. But let's see here. Do I pull up the piece of paper within this time period or no? Here it is. So this piece of paper is the um, is the solution to this right here. So you have to find the numbers within these. So 7, 4, 8. You have to put it in that order from what you have in these encrypted symbols. And that's how you get it unlocked. And there you go. That's how you do that. That's This is the best puzzle so far in the game. Now you know. It took a bit, but yeah. Um, let's head our way to Mark's place, and we're gonna say hi to Mark wherever he is. Oh, Mark! Oh, Mark! Penis. There's a penis on that door. Uh oh. Whoa. Ping. Wait, what? Where's where's Mark? Oh, here's Mark's place. Oh, there's a police officer. Hello. Hello? Hello? Yes? Sorry about this. I knocked and the door opened, so I came in. That's quite all right. And you are? I'm Gus McPherson. I'm a private detective hired to help out with the local murders. Really? A genuine private dick, and I can tell by your accent you're American too. This adds so much to the authenticity of the stereotype. The name is Mark Ackerman. Pleased to meet you. <sighs> Likewise. Are you British? No, I'm a yike, just like you are. The accent is due to living in England throughout most of my childhood. You see, Daddy is an ambassador. I sort of picked it up along the way. Daddy! I hardly notice it anymore. You bastard! Mark? You yes. stupid bastard! Your position, Napolina, please. Do you have time for a few questions? For just a few, yes, of course. It's sort of exciting, this private detective. Story. I just sound like an elf from, like, Oblivion. This was a while back, but do you remember when Inspector Skalnik came here to talk to you? Actually, according to rumor, you had an argument with him. Is that correct? Yes, it is. And do you mind telling me what it was about? Not at all. He accused me of being, as you put it so eloquently earlier, the local problem. I'm sorry, but I have to ask this. Did you ever employ these women other than for modeling? I was always professional, Mr. McPherson. I never touched those women. Again, I apologize, but I have to ask these types of questions. It's quite all right, I understand. He accused you of being the killer. Yes, can you believe the gall? The I mean, gall. <laughs> <laughs> Did he elaborate on his theory? Not really. He only confronted the me. He didn't present any proof or real evidence to support his allegations. 
I'm afraid you'll have to ask him about his little hypothesis. Marc, j'en ai marre. Well, I believe that's my cue. Yes, indeed. I must get back to work before. Well, before. Yes. Before. Thanks for answering the question. Can before I come what? Back later, maybe when you're less busy. Certainly. As I mentioned before, your best bet is to talk to Inspector Skalnik. Well, again, Skolnik. You're quite welcome. Skolnik. Wow, thanks. Who's this guy? What do you fucking want? Oh shit, there's a guy up there. Okay, well, I guess I'll go this way. I don't exactly know what, where I need to go. So I'm just gonna go. Over here and look at the, the sketch. Let me take an eyeball at the sketch. So, this is what the, the criminal looks like. Looks very dapper, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Um, scroll through. Uh, that's chapter four. Here we go. Skirt. I wasn't listening half that time. Um... Uh, okay. So maybe I guess I'll just go around until I eventually find... I guess I'll go to the park and ask her. I still think you shouldn't be out here. Thank you, but I will be fine. Okay, that doesn't help. What about in here, in the, the funny park? Where the murder just happened, probably. Or was it the chapel? It might have been at the chapel. That might be where they want us to go next, the chapel. If that's what was happening there. Where that he was murdering somebody. Was he murdering the fucking the poor motherfucker? At the was he was it that guy, the at the burned neighborhood? Or was that at the old chapel? Let's see. Let's see here. I don't see anything happening here. Let's try checking in here. Let's see. I don't need to talk to him. Anyways, I okay. Don't my All right. Well, that that obviously that won't work. Okay. Did you know there's a SpongeBob point-and-click adventure game? I want to play it at some point, but I don't want to get a virus. So, I'd have to figure out how to get, like, an actual copy of it. Which I think I found one on Amazon for 21 bucks. Uh, he's gone. It's not cool. So, he's gone. Let's check that alleyway that we were in that one time. Last time over here. That just keeps glitching out and not letting me go in there. Nobody, nothing. Okay, so I can't really do anything in this area still. It's okay, take your time. It's okay, take your time. Oh my god. Alright, I think it might- we might have to talk to the guy who owns- Who's like the- the- who owns all the- The fun people. This guy. Let's see if he has anything to say. I shouldn't bother him. Okay, okay, not bothering him. Okay, never mind. Uh. I feel like this game is about trying to find where I need to go next. I guess the junkyard. I guess we're heading back here and talking to her again. I, I guess. I don't know. I guess we're going in here.
Um, and then I guess we're going... Which way do we go to get to her? Is it this way? Oh, there's the fucking dog. Just vibing. Oh my god, just... Oh, you fucking... Hold on. I like how you can still see the dog, though. That's funny. Can I not see her anymore? Because it doesn't give me an option to go that way. It lets me go up there, but not where I need to go which is kind of annoying it only lets me go this way so I can't even talk to her I guess I don't I don't know where they want me to go I don't know I can try talking to him again I guess I I don't have a lot to work with work with right now i could try the police station that's about the only place i haven't gone back to and mark's place is the only new location i can go to so i guess i'll go to the police station and try asking questions hey friend mr mcpherson what can i do for you i'd like to talk to your boss is he in now as a matter of fact, he is. Are you going to pester him with annoying questions? How'd you know? A oh, wild guess. Go right in, my friend. It's up the stairs at the end of the hall to your right. Okay. I'm, I should probably really listen instead of not paying attention so then I know where I need to go. Take your time. No, 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 no. Take your time. It's okay. I'm not in a hurry. Oh, those lamps. I love these lamps. These are so cool. They're like green and gold lamps. I love these. I want one. I think I've seen one a couple times. Oh my god, they're so cool. Okay. I love those. All right, time to go to Detective Skolnick. Hello, Detective Skolnick. If it isn't the knight in shining armor. <laughs> you son of a. You son you of a. I was on my way out. Um, questions. I'd like to ask you about Mark, the local artist. What about him? Uh. Well, I thought I remember you saying that you had no suspects related to these crimes. And this charming gentleman says otherwise. What did he say exactly? He said that you accused him of the crimes. May I ask why? Yes, I considered him a suspect. Wouldn't you? It doesn't matter what I think. That's all the time I have for you. Fine. Can you at least lend me the files on the other victims? No, McPherson. Why not? I just want to consult them. Hey, I thought we were working to... No, we are not. I work for the mayor, not the whores. <gasps> well, now, it seems we work for the same kind of people. Except my clients have character and honesty. This concludes our conversation. I have business elsewhere. Wow, you're a fucking dick. <laughs> Legit... Dude trying to solve a case of murders and you're just like, no, I will not let you. Fuck off. How dare you? Her <laughs> How dare you? Angry. Here, this is my I would a fucking I want promotion. Fuck you, I don't care about the case, I just wanna get paid better. People get literally getting murdered doesn't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> now what? I was given no information out of that. <laughs> Let me try talking to him. I shouldn't bother him. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try talking to the guy again. Because I have no other leads. 
Because the guy literally will not give us any. I'd better let him paint Apollina. You never know. She might rip his head off. Okay. Can't talk to them. If I go to the junkyard, I mean, I can try there. This is just kind of, I guess this is just how this portion always works. Is you just basically get nothing and then you walk around until eventually you get to where you need to go. No, like, leading or anything like that. No way to... I need to fix the chain. Raw meat's chain. I wonder why it broke. Maybe it's because you did it too many times before. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Me, IRL. Is that Big Bertha? Is that Big Bertha? The Big Bertha? I guess I'll make a jumping puzzle again. I don't need to use the crane anymore. Well then how do I get over there? You little shit. How do I- there's the fucking dog, there he goes. <laughs> that should be a, an emote. There's the things here. How do I get down into that area? Oh my god. Because there's no, like, easy way to get to it. Unless I just, like... Oh, here we go. This specific portion right here is to get to it. Okay. Let's try talking to her again. Oh, let's talk to this guy. I see you've solved the dog problem. Yeah, he's a very good, but very dangerous dog. What is this place exactly? This is our inheritance. Great, isn't it? Peter and me took care of this place after our father died. Hmm. How'd you get mixed up with a guy like Odokar, if you don't mind my asking? When we were younger, uh, Peter and me had a small operation going. Petty theft was our main business. This place is perfect to hide stolen goods. Anyways, Peter and me would get arrested from time to time. Suffice it to say, the thieves was it. going good. We're not exactly good at blending into the crowd. Do you guys ever wear masks? Masks? Yeah, to cover your face. To hide your identity? No, we never did. Why didn't I think of that? Masks, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry I interrupted you. So how'd you hook up with Odakar? Oh, yeah, well, we decided to work for him because our business wasn't going well and we needed money. Masks. We should have worn masks. And? So... Autocar offered to pay us good money to protect certain investments he had in the neighborhood. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Did you ever think of doing something else? Well, yeah, of course. No one wants to do what we do. We do it because we have no other choice. What I really wanted to do is open up a club. Not a joint. What a classy place, like I've seen in pictures of New York. Ah, I know what you mean. Huge classy joints where you have a host at the door that escorts you to a table and lots of different acts on stage from across the country. Yeah. Also, a, a small orchestra that plays jazz music. Well, you never know. It could happen, right? Uh, I would doubt it. Yeah, who am I kidding? It's a dream itself just getting into one of them. Well, it was nice meeting you, Roman. I hope our paths cross again. It was nice to meet you, too. And, uh, thanks for getting me out of jail. Think nothing of it. Cool. That was a nice conversation. <laughs> that was a wonderful conversation. Again, my thanks for sharing your story. God knows it must have been hard to tell. If there's anything I can do to help you, just ask. Just I'm in good hands here, and I hope my story can help you catch him. I'm sure it will. 
Um, okay. I don't think there's much I can do with this, then. Um, okay. Well, we got some extra dialogue out of that, so that was kind of cool. Some world building. Character development. Dog in a box. Uh, Robert doing nothing to fix the chain, despite him saying he would. Um, all is well ends well. Other than the fact that I don't know where the fuck to go. So, I guess there's that. Let's see. Go faster. 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 Over here. Okay. So... I guess we can try the... I guess we can talk to... We never talked to the guy again, did we? If we talk to this guy, maybe that's what we need to do. Talk to him. Hey, Kaz. I need another favor. What can I do? I need to get some files from Skalmix. There office. we go. Can you let me in? I'm afraid I can't do that, my friend. That could mean my job. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, come on. For old times' sake. No, really. I can't help you. But maybe... Maybe the workers on the side of the building can help you? All right. Thanks for the tip. Have a nice evening. Thanks, man. Wink, wink. Ah, we have a new area to go to. Look at that. Ah. He tricked us into an alleyway to trap us and kill us. Of course. This is very sketchy. Um. Ah. Well, well, well. We got rope. Okay. So we have rope and we have a metallic ring. What if we combine the metallic ring and the rope? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we should go down this way to see if there's anything over here. Okay, this is the way we came. There's nothing here. Hmm. It's a rope. So we need to find another piece to this, which means we should probably go to the junkyard to get another piece to make it happen. Right? So if we go to the junkyard, maybe it's, uh, there's something there that we can use. Maybe. Maybe. Because I know there was, like, uh, the bolt cutters from before, so maybe that that's what we gotta do. Let's see. Go into here. Let's just start looking around for stuff. Let's see here. Is there anything out of the ordinary that I could use? I could talk to him. Let's see. I need to fix the chain! Wrong. Maybe it's... <coughs> okay, that, that's not gonna help. Let's try going this way. Nothing over here. Maybe there's something here. Maybe I can build some. No. Is that? No. Hmm. Something here I can use. I don't see anything yet. Broken shovel. Hmm. Let's try this way. There's the dog. There he goes. Ah, shoot. I don't see anything that I could use. Because I obviously we need to make some kind of like hook, right? We have this piece of... We have this like ring... But I don't think I can use this for anything. Can't really use anything up here. Um. Hmm. 
Maybe I could ask... Hmm. Maybe I can ask his name, uh, the dude again. Maybe I just need to. Maybe I'm overthinking it like I do. Let's see. <sighs> oh my god, I accidentally clicked out of the screen. God damn it. Please be fine. No! <sighs> Shit. Okay, actually that might be good. <laughs> I think I saved like right in that area, didn't I? I don't remember. <sighs> yes, I, I saved in this area, that's good. Okay. So grab this. So we got a piece of rope. I have to manage a way up. Oops. I don't know. Clicks a picture. I like how in, in um whenever people play like point and click or like puzzle games or whatever, this is what they do. Okay, I'm gonna use a picture because it makes no fucking sense. But I have no other things I can think of right at this point in time. So I'm just gonna click this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna combine these two. <laughs> Let's just do whatever you possibly can. Okay, it was right here. Piece of wood, and then um. There you go. Grappling hook. Okay. There you go. Okay. I solved it. <laughs> solved the puzzle. I have to manage it. There we go. Player. Holy shit. What a fucking player. Oh, wait. Hold on. Ah, very good coffee. Okay, we have keys. They're probably locked. Yep. Okay. Ooh, book. Let's take a let's take a gander at the book. I think everyone has at least a couple of these. A book. I guess so. I mean, he's right. Everyone has at least a couple of these. Alright, and we'll go ahead and use this bad boy. Oh, hold on. It only gives me the option if I'm looking at it. So you have to watch him do the animation, then I can do it. Because there's no other real way to do this properly. Use the keys. Hmm. Take your time. <laughs> the wire be like. Alright, um. Okay. So, I'm gonna save. Depends if I go in here. Thanks. I got what I needed to continue. Anything else I can do for you? No, not right now, anyway. Thanks, Pally. And the gate's closed. <laughs> Someone came and closed the gate while we were gone. Uh, and we have a new place to check out. The bridge. I guess we'll go to the bridge. Awesome. So, we have a bunch of new pictures here. We have this picture, which is of some kind of docks. I think that's that kind of looks like the shore from earlier. What is this one? This is the one picture we were looking at last time where we saw a something over here. 
and then this one is a picture of our boy just hanging out in this area with a dead body. I don't know who took this picture, but okay. And then we have two metallic rings. So now we have another one with a completely... This looks like a code, almost, because this one has a different look to it. See? We can't combine them either, so... Interesting. So this area looks like we're gonna... Gonna need to go down here. Oh god. He's having a That's So Raven moment. woman you all right yes I'm fine didn't we talk about you staying at home safely behind a bolted door yes we did but we also talked about me going to see the doctor ah uh, yes I remember that so what did the doc say did he find the problem well yes he did so what's wrong can I ask you a very serious question okay now I'm worried what is it how serious are we? How serious? Well, uh, why do you ask? Just answer the question. I'm sorry, Ida, but where is this going? Do you love me? Yes, of course I love you. Actually, love is too small a word. I lure you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Really? <gasps> yes, uh, really. Uh, That's why I've been sick for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I see. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, there's uh, only one thing we can do. Which is? Let's get married. Really? L let's do it in New York. I have some friends and family that can help us get started. Oh, Gus, you're wonderful. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Obviously, if they didn't get married, then we wouldn't have the McPherson that we have in the current story. That's it, huh? We have to use the uh, this picture, right? There's the corpse here. We have to look for something that's out of the ordinary. It's not even the corpse itself. It's just some random object somewhere in this area that's probably written down on like the bench or something. Looks like the benches have been changed. Now where are the old ones? Aha. Uh -huh. And we solved the mystery. That's it. <laughs> There's no way for you to actually know that's the answer to this. It just happened. Actually, they do look different, to be fair. They do, they do look different. Um, but the other one, it was really hard to tell. But it's not the corpse that they want you to look at. Um, so we have to find where the old benches went. Um, which we won't be able to do. I'm going to go to the edge and do absolutely nothing. And then I'm going to walk over here. Let's see how good the pathfinding is. Not bad. So now we have to find where those old benches went. I guess we could go to the junkyard. That would make sense, right? If I click here, he immediately goes like towards the wall. <laughs> there we go. Um. Hey, Peter. Hello, Gustav. I like your name. It reminds me of my father. Oh, your father's name was Gustav. No, Michael. I can see why you would think that. Anyways, I need to ask you a question. <laughs> what? Did <laughs> you guys ever receive some old public benches? Hmm. Yeah, we did. They're right over here. Behind the wall. There you are. Thank you, my very large friend. <laughs> you make me laugh. I need a friend it's like a him. Good thing I do. I'd hate to be on your bad side. Actually, I know what that's like. It's time to look at these old benches. Looks like we got ourselves another ring. <laughs> Old ring caper. So now I have three rings. 
Just get five more of them, then I'll have the full chaos ring. Wait, what? Uh, I need to go to a volcano. I don't. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I assume that there's a chaos ring if you collect all the rings in in Lord of the Rings. Okay. So I have ring. I have this ring, which is looks like this. Um, okay. So I guess I'll go back to the police station or wherever the next photo is, which is this one right here. No, not that one. This one. So we need to go back to the burned alley area and go there. And we'll look at the picture and go from there. So you have to go to the burned neighborhood, go to this one over here, and now we take out the picture and we look at it. Um, this one's actually high quality this time. Um, the light is off here, but I don't know if that matters. Oh, you know what the issue is? The, the storm drain is open see anything unusual no the storm drain is open did you not see it is it not open i don't see anything unusual okay so i guess it's the lamp that's just on is that the issue i don't see anything unusual why did he walk all the What is the difference in this image? It's cleaner, I guess. Um... <laughs> it's not the body. I, I know it isn't. Is it her? See anything unusual. I don't see anything unusual. It has to be like a key point. So is it this? That bath was empty at the time. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> the image doesn't help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this message was carved recently. Someone is leaving breadcrumbs. The slut knows. Uh oh. Uh oh. They know. They know. There's only one person who knows. And it has to be her. She knows. She knows. Hello again. Hello, Mr. McPherson. Can you help me out with something? Of course. I want you to take a look at this picture. Do you remember what happened that day? Yes, I remember. How can I forget it? I'm the one who found Catalina. Inspector Skelnick asked me a few questions. At that particular time, was there something out of the ordinary? Something you might have seen that struck you as odd? Or maybe something you know about the area that no one else does? The only thing I saw that seemed out of place is that Inspector Skalnik threw something into the sewers. Hmm. See what it was. No. He turned his back and he let something drop. I saw it fall between his legs. It was something shiny because it caught my eye. Well, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. Okay. She knows. Now face the wall. I guess. Oh, the music. Listen to that music. I thought it was going to get really interesting for a second. Wait. Dun, dun, 
That should that should have kept going. Wait, it's kind of. Ooh, ominous music. Ominous. Ba -da 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 -da. I was right about the uh, the man cave just randomly being open. He's actually going in there? Oh. Why'd he drop this? Hmm. Strange. Someone locked this recently. That lock is brand new. Can we take a gander at the lock? Someone locked this recently. Yo, this music is actually terrifying. For the fact that you're in a sewer, that's the only- it's just- it's way too intense for no reason. <laughs> that is way too intense. Well, now I have the four Chaos Emeralds. Wait. Okay, so maybe there's five rings that we don't know of. Who would be the next person to talk to? We have, like, no clues after that. We just have a bunch of rings. He's gone. The pictures won't help. Unless there's... No, we grabbed that ring... We have this ring and we have this ring. So what's the other ring that we need? Oh, you know what the thing is? We probably need to use the lockpick. We need to use the lockpick. That's what it is. Come over here. Strange. Someone locked this recently. That lock is brand new. Can we lo uh, lockpick? We can't lockpick? Do we not want to lockpick this just yet? Strange. Okay, well we will eventually, I guess. But I guess right now... I guess right now we don't want to investigate? Is there anything else in here that we need? Hmm. Weird. A slut knows. Hmm. Peculiar. Gustav. Oh, whoa. Yes. I'm really worried for Apollina. Uh, don't worry. She's with Mark, the painter. I know, but she should have been back by now. It never takes that long to model. You've modeled for him before? Yes, I did, and I didn't like it very much. Why? I don't like him too much. Was he mean to you? No, actually, quite the contrary. He was always nice. <laughs> Too nice. He just gives me the creeps. Anyway, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you just go and look at Mark's studio? Okay, I'll have a look. And if Apollina's there, I say... That Milena wants to talk to you. I'll do as you wish. Thank you. Uh, okay. We will talk. Strange. No one's there. I think I'll let myself in. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll let myself in. Lock picking guide. Although locks vary in design and security, they all basically share the same mechanism. These lock picking tools are easy to use and will work for most, if not all, type of locks. On the inside, the locks ma um made of many small tumblers which fall into categories, the regular tumblers, um, and then the master tumblers, uh, when the regular tumbler is pressed on, another tumbler will react either by moving upward or downward. If you release the tumbler reacting, one will return to the original position. If you press on a master tumbler, it will lock itself and all the subordinates tumblers with it. Okay. An important trick to grasp is the art of jamming the tumblers. If you hold a tumbler with one lockpick 
and press another tumbler with your other tool, a reacting tumbler would be the one that is currently held. It will jam it. It will jam. A jammed tumbler will not take back its position when you release the tumbler that made it react. If you want to unjam it, you just give it a tug to press or, or press a tumbler that will force it to re react. Since the tools are very delicate, you cannot press on it more than one tumbler at a time with a given tool. Only the tools. Um, head can be used to press on tumblers. The key to lockpicking is get through by ingeniously finding a new way to lock all master tumblers, thus clearing a path end of the keyway. Okay. Well then, let me uh, let me do a save then, I guess. Okay. Oh shit, okay. So that's one. Okay, so that stops both of them. I see. Okay. Okay, so we want to do this one, then this one, this one, and then okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. So we need this one to go here. No. This one has to go here. This one, I guess, would go here. No. No. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's take this guy and put it here. Okay, that did not work. And then this guy goes... No. Okay. <sighs> if I hit that, then that one goes up. Then that one goes up. What the fuck did I do before to make this one go?
If it's not that, why did it work now? That doesn't make any sense. Why does that work now? Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Okay. Then I guess I will put this one here. Okay, so that locks both of them. So that's the master lock part done. Which means that... Okay, I get it. Okay. Ah, okay. I think I'm. I think I'm understanding it now. Oh shit! Wait, hold on. Oh my god. Why did that not work before? Whatever. What? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. god that one this one lock then this one okay then this one open that one then this one open that one okay Okay. That one goes, then this one goes, then this one goes. There we go. Okay, so you have to specifically choose which one it is. This one needs to go here, while this one goes here. No, wait. This one goes here? Okay, so this one is now open again causing that one to open again that one opens and now this one needs to go here and then this one needs to go here for that one to close then this one goes here that's it 
and that one needs to stay there for it to stay closed, even though it doesn't make sense. Can't do that one, because this one won't fucking close anymore. And now we're in the same fucking situation as before. This one needs to go here. That one opens that. We have to fucking close this one. Then this one closes this one. I, I, I'm in a fucking loop. I don't know. That won't stay open anymore, so I have to hit this one. And then this one needs to... I don't know, man. That one needs to stay closed. This one won't stay closed. Because this is fucking being a little bitch boy and won't let me open it. And if I do that, then that's not going to do anything. Is there a way for you to fucking screw yourself over in this? Because if you lift this, that just stays fucking open now. It doesn't stay fucking closed. Which is fucking annoying. So that doesn't stay open anymore. Oh my god. Fuck you two game, honestly. Fucking fuck off. There. Now it's it's fine. Those are all closed. If it unlocks, then I'm screwed. That is the problem, is that if this at any point unlocks, then I'm fucked because I can't go keep going. Which is the problem. That's oh that is closed, which means I can do this. Which means I can do this. And those all unlock. That's good. That is what we need. Except for when this shit stays closed. Wait. I can't close that one, so this one needs to stay closed for a little bit, so I can do this. That locks that one, so then this one, no, this one needs to stay closed, so this one can come to this one. And then this one can come over here, okay. That does not work. Hold on. That one needs to stay closed. So this one needs to come over here. Okay, hold on. This one needs to hold that open while this one locks that one in place. And then this one needs to push that open. No. This one needs to come over here. Then over here. Then that one? Then... Th no. Okay, so this one needs to be closed like that. Then this one can... Okay. If I close this one... Then that op that closes. And that won't stay closed. So we need to move this over here again. So this one needs to go... Well, something needs to stay here. So this one can close that. Okay. And now we have this situation where if we close this, then that gets closed, and that stays open.
Well, that won't work. Because if I move this, then that opens. And that opens that up again. That needs to stay closed. If I do this, then that won't do anything. So I have to close that for it to do its thing. Then if I try to push this open, nothing's going to happen. If I try to do that, then that's just going to open up again. Because for some reason, whenever I push this, it'll keep it closed. And if I do this, then that's not going to help. And that opens that up again. Close that. And if I move this, then that's going to get moved. Yep. That closes that one so I can do this. And this. No. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Close this. Close that. Then do this. Okay. So now we can do this and this. Okay, that just opens it back up. And that, that opens that back up. So we have to do this again. Lock that in place. Lock this in place. And then we need to keep that there. So that locks in place. And then we need to bring this one back. So that unlocks. So then whenever I move it out of the way, that opens back up. Then this guy can come over here. And this guy can come over here. No, wait. This needs to be moved still. So that locks that in place. So next I can... So next we need to go to... Back to this one. So then we move that. Hold on. That moves out of the way. This goes up. This comes down. And then this needs to do that. So then I can do this. Nope. Okay. Lock. 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 And then... What unlocks that? I think it's this? Yeah. And then this... Locks. Hold on. No, wait. Hold on. That locks that. And again... This needs to move. No, no, no. That needs to stay so I can do this. I need to move this one. And, okay. Okay. That needs to stay open. Okay. That pushes this open, which is going to push this open. Which locks that in place. That just moves that open. What locks this in place? What locks this in place? Well, that moves that, but that doesn't really... No. Hold on. That unlocks that, and then we have to fucking do this whole shit again. Which is bullshit. Really fucking annoying. Bullshit. Um, bring it over here. I'm sorry about the fucking dog. I have no control over him. Oh my god. Close that. Close that. 
close this, fucking open this, come over here, push this down. That doesn't work anymore. But that move is, moves this. That's what moves this right here. So whenever I close this, it's going to keep that open. Which is annoying because we need something to hold this down. And whenever I push this down, then that doesn't do anything either. Now it doesn't work. God, I hate this. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. Now it's not fucking working. I don't know what I did different. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. <sighs> fucking hate this puzzle. Wow, it's fucking open, dude. Oh my god. Fuck off. Wow, nothing fucking happens. That's fucking cool, dude. That gets moved? That's crazy, dude. I'm fucking done with this fucking puzzle, dude. I can't fucking do it. I fucking hate it. I don't care. I don't care if it's fucking. It's fucking bullshit, dude. I fucking hate this one. Because I fucking did it. Oh my god. I did the fucking puzzle. I, I don't. I had like a last two left, and it's just. So fucking annoying. Even if I fucking did that, and I moved that. And then I move this. Then nothing's going to happen because it's just going to... I know what I need to do. Fucking do this. Do this. That closes that. Then this one comes over here. Closes that. Then this one comes over here. Locks that in place. Now we need to come back to this one. Unlock it. Bring it over here. That unlocks. This one comes over here. Pushes that down. Then this one gets pushed down. That locks that in place, right? And then... We need to do that thing again, where we... That's now locked in place, which means we can come back here. Come over here. This one needs to be unlocked again. So this one can come over here, push that in place. Now that is unlocked, ag that is unlocked again, that's pretty awesome. Then this one comes over here and pushes this one. And I can't fucking do it now because it, apparently I my logic is stupid. Now this one needs to come over here and lock that in place. Now need, that needs to put that there and lock that in place. This needs to open this up so that opens up. And then this one can come over here, do that. Then this gets locked in place. And now I have two things here that can be pushed. That one should have not been pushed yet. Because now what happens is that this is still open. I need to fucking come over here. Oh my god. I push this, that's gonna unlock that one immediately. Push that, unlock. Push that, that gets locked down. 
push this. That gets locked down. Open this one back up. Come over here. That one is still open. Why? I can't move. This is locked in place now. I can't move this. I'm trapped. I, I broke it. I don't know how to fix it. Oh my god. Fucking hate this puzzle. Okay. No, I did it right the first time. No. Okay. Unlock this one. This one needs to go here. Okay. What locks that? Oh, yeah, I know what locks it in place. I forgot. That opens that up again. Do that. Do that. And then... Lock that in place. Move it out of the way. Then this one gets moved. Because if I pick that up, then it's not going to work. Yeah. Um... Oh my god. Hi, Emmy. Um, if I move this, that's not going to get locked in place. But if I do this, nothing changes at all. So this one needs to go back down here. Because if I don't, there we go. I need to find a way to lock that in place. And if I move this, it won't lock it in place. And if I do this, that's not going to lock it in place. This is what locks it in place. So now I need to move this one. But then what happens is that that gets pu pushed up. And then I can't do it. And then, yeah, so I can't f lock this one in place. And if I move that one, then that one gets unlocked. So now I have to do this thing again. Nope. I'm trying to switch. No! Oh my fucking god. Switch. Holy shit. There. Lock that in place. Cool. Lock this in place. Cool. Now come back to this one. Unlocked. Okay. Bring this back. And now this one needs to be brought back. To here. Do that, then do this. That is now locked in place. I still cannot lock this one in place. I don't know what locks it in place. I move this one, that unlocks this one. I hit this one, this gets unlocked, and then this one gets unlocked immediately again. So now I'm back to where I was, which is not good. So now I need to move this back here. So this one can come over here to unlock it, to lock it again. Then this one needs to come over here. And this one needs to come here. And now we're back to where we were. But this time you know what's different. This is locked out. So I cannot move that. Unless I find another way to move it. Because if I do this. And I do this. That's going to lock itself a fucking again. No. Stay there. Okay. Okay. That's locked in place. This moves out of the way. This one unlocks that. This one gets out of the way. Both of them get out of the way. There we go. 
And now this one comes over here. And this one comes here. That locks it in place. Now we need to find a way to lock this one in place, which is involves needing this one to be unlocked, but that one unlocks this one. So what unlocks this one that locks this one, this one's... What do I need to do? Because this one... I can't close this. I can't close this one because this one's here. If I try moving this here, it won't matter. I could try pushing this here. That's going to unlock this right here. So that cannot do it. So I need to find out which one locks it in place, which is none of these considering they're locked right now. It's not this one, and it's definitely not this one. So... The only one that locks it in place is this. But if I lock it in place, it's not going to do it. Hold on. If I lock it in place, do that, and then do this... No, shit. Okay. And those don't lock each other. As you can see. So now I'm back to where I was before. I have three of these locks here. And this one doesn't lock anything. That opens this one up. If I move this one, that's not going to do anything. And if I move this, this is just going to fall into my thing, and then it won't work. I need like a third lockpick. Because if I move that, then that's not going to do anything. If I do this, that's just going to unlock this one, which is then going to unlock this. So I need to move this here, then move this here. And then move this here. And that locks those in place. Now if I move this here, that's going to lock that one in place. And this doesn't do anything. This is the last one we need to open. Unless I unlock one of these and something else locks this one. I don't know what it is. <sighs> my god, why is my mom making so many fucking noises? Puzzle's fucking ass. Where's the, where's the puzzle completion? Where is it? Where's the other where's the other guide? Where's the other guide? Can't get past the intro. No. No. Nope. Now we're just getting into the other languages section. Damn lock picking puzzle. Here we go. Um I'm giving up on this because the lock fizzing puzzle. The blockers are a pain and YouTube only has one video. This is in 2012. Okay. Oh my god. There's actually like an answer here that I'd have to do. So I'm just going to use this and then hope that I I'm let's see. I need to bring this out a little bit more to about here. Let's see. 
Oh, and white screen of fucking death. Of fucking course. Of course. Of course. A fucking course. Oh my god. I fucking hate this puzzle, dude. I, f I hate this puzzle. Okay. This one, this one's just stupid, honestly. I just, I hate how it plays. I fucking hate it, dude. I have to find it again. Okay. I fucking hate this one. Hopefully you can see this. If not, hopefully you can. I don't care right now. I'm just gonna solve this so I can figure it out. Okay, left click on one. Which one is one? Which one is one? Left click on one, right click. <laughs> Left click 10, right click. Wow, thanks for the fucking advice game. Real, thanks, thanks o OP. Thank you for fucking, what do you mean by one? Do you mean, let me see here. Let me see what they mean by this. This is a, this is a puzzle in itself. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So one, so left click on one, right click, click ten. Yep. Right click, left click two. Yep. Right click. Click three, then four. Click on three, then four, then right click. Click f 12, right click. Click five, right click. Click on six, then four. Which is this one. Then right click. Click on 14. 14. Then click 12. Right click. Click on 14. Then right click. Okay. Click on seven, then four. No, that's then four, then fifteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold on. I might have to do this again. Oh my god. Oh, why is this one so cryptic? It's so... S oh my god. Restart. Fucking restart because it's already complicated. One. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, then fifteen. Right click. Okay. Right click. Then two. Right click. Three. No, that's the wrong one. You fool. And four. Right. And then... Left click 12. 
11, 12. 12. Right click, click on 5. Right click. That did not do anything. That. Nope. Okay. Fuck you. Oh my god. You know what? Alt tabbing. I'm gonna drag it. I wanna be able to see it, so I'm gonna drag it right here. I'm gonna see it on a different monitor. There we go. That's better. That is if it's not a gray screen. And it's a black screen. Let's fucking go. Fuck yeah. I fucking love it, dude. Fuck yeah. Fuck off. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. It's just that last part that's just a pain in the fucking ass. Alt tab. Community. Find it. Make it so it's like over here. Pretty much. Open up the game again. That's better. Use. Okay. One, right click, ten, right click, two, three, then four, right click, twelve, right click, five, right click, this, Then four. Okay. Now click 14, then 12. Oh yeah, four, then right click. Okay. Click 14, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then 12. 14, 12. Okay. Then it says right click. Click on 14, then right click. Click on 7, then 4. Click on 7, then 4. Then 15, then right click. Okay. Click on four. Then right click. Click on six. Click on six, so four, five. So click on six, then six. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, then 6, then 14. Then 14. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Right click. Click on 7, then right click. 4, 5, 6, 7. Right click. Okay. Click on 13... Then 13, right click. 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, then right click. <sighs> click on 6, then 6, then 8. 6, 6, then 7, and then 8. Right click, then this. Fucking die. I hope you fucking die. That is fucking... That is fucking stupid. Oh my god. 
I am not gonna sit there for five fucking hours trying to figure that shit out. You can rot lockpick puzzle. You can fucking rot. Oh great, fucking gray screen. Thank god, this is why I saved. I can alt- I'm allowed to alt tab out of the game one time per time I open the game. That is what I've learned. I can only ever alt tab one time. God. I'm so fucking mad. Fuck that puzzle. I don't recognize the one on the left, but I certainly recognize the one on the right. Ida never told me she posed for him. Hmm. There seems to be an object over here. Oh, a book? What did I just do? I grabbed the book, but where is it? Oh, it must be a um, read reading thing. Lockpicking guide, coroner's report, and victim. It was something. Wait, wait, hold on. Over here. Hmm. The one on the left reminds me of Francisca. On the right side, I haven't a clue. Oh, you can see through that. Oh. Sex? I don't know. What is this? Mr. Ackerman. Your indiscretions are becoming too expensive to cover up. Your father is resigning as ambassador. You will be returning to America with him shortly. Get your affairs in order. Bell, U.S. Embassy. Interesting. Uh, okay. So that's information, I guess. So that's all we got from this, huh? Wait. Is there anything else? No. I don't see anything out of the ordinary to click on. Um hmm. There is what looks to be kind of like blood, but that could be paint. I can't tell. Okay, interesting. What an interesting household. Okay, so I, I guess I don't really... Hmm. We don't have anything new unlocked, so I guess I'll go to... I guess I'll go to the police station? Let me see what they have to say. They're gone. I can just come in here? Okay. He's he, he fucked off somewhere. So he's somewhere that we, we can go to. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Whoa. This is an area I was not expecting to come to. Looks like we're going to be here later. Is that a sim? Sounds like sims whenever they're like houses burning and they don't know what to do. That looks nothing like him. <laughs> there is something here we can Seems look at. Everyone has one of these. Yeah, they're cool. What do you mean? Are you talking about the ashtray? Or the lamp? Oh, shit. The ambassador wishes you good luck in finding the murder. I think that concludes our agreement. Farewell, Inspector. My thanks to the Ambassador. And as far as our murderer is concerned, well, let's just say I have the perfect man to take the fall. Why, that son of a bitch.
god. Wow, I never imagined this. I mean, this isn't the image I had of your room. Miller, what the hell are you doing here? I imagined something more along the lines of Hellraiser. Christ, Miller. Sorry, I'm in shock here. I came because the prints on the bottle and the partials match at a 99% probability. Kolar seems to be our best bet. Really? Yes, and I thought you'd want to pick him up. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you over there. Wait for me before taking action. Of course I will. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll go. Uh, I should probably save. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just saying, his story seems way more interesting than this shit. Wait, where's our- where's our lovely father? There's our lovely father. Yes. Playing Mr. Fix-It? Oh, that damn thing is broken again. Dad, call someone. The reason why it breaks all the time is because you fix it. Just call a professional. I know what's wrong this time. You wouldn't understand, Pumpkin. It's a guy thing. So how are the cookies? Just like Mom used to make. I'm happy you like them. I'll have a bite later. Uh, you'll have to make more. You ate them all already? Uh, <coughs> uh, yes. <coughs> Jeez, Dad, you could have let me have at least one. Well, you know, when I get started, it's hard to stop. Great. My dad's a cookie junkie. Why did you let Miller upstairs? I called you three times. I got tired, so I let him up. Yeah, but Dad, he saw my room, Dad. What's wrong with that? You do know I work with cops. I'll never hear the end of it. Officer Miller seems like a nice guy. He is, Dad, but he has a cop sense of humor. Are you off again? Yes, I have to go meet up with him. I'll drop by again <laughs> later to make more cookies. No thanks to you. Okay, sweetheart. See you soon. Okay, Bye, sweetheart. <laughs> There's bodies that in that area that he's fixing up. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What is this? Oh, never mind. Nothing interesting. Off we go then. <laughs> Guess we'll go. We'll go to the office. Hello? My name is Victoria McPherson. I guess I'll check out the lady and see if she has it all figured out. Thanks for the prints. No problem, sweetie. I'll put that on your tab. Wow, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Door open. Bling! I hope we beat the game today. I don't know how long it is, like how long this game is to beat, but. Uh, okay. We're here and there's nobody here. I really don't want to talk to him right now. I really don't want to talk to him. I guess I'll go to my desk. 
Is there anything new on my desk to look at? Can like click on the click on this the computer the phone. Those are the dead bodies. We're not gonna look at that. Um. Uh. Yep. There's like nothing here to click on. Awesome. That's a disgusting mouse and keyboard though. Oh my god. I want. I want it. <laughs> I want it. It looks so bad. There's just like the split here that is completely pointless and unneeded. It's like curves weird. The numpad doesn't make sense. The It's just all like big and spacious for no reason. The mouse is like all bulky and dumb looking. Like it, it never needed to look like this. The shitty mouse pad that's like has like that gross plastic on it and like the rubber on the bottom of it that's not. That's gonna like just stick onto it eventually like a and the it's just it's just a pain in the ass to use your con maybe that's like a roll ball like a ball joint on there so like it's even more annoying to use i used to use a ball joint mouse for a long time especially for gaming um i guess i'll just i don't have anything for here so i guess i'll just leave i don't know where i need to go I guess I'll just leave. Welcome to the weird game of just kind of he being here. Oh my god. Um, was there a new one that opened up? I don't see a new place to go to. I mean, I guess I'll check the campus. That's the only other place I can think of. Yeah, there's the police car. So, yeah. The police car wasn't here before. So, I guess we'll just head back upstairs and just check. Yeah, here he is. Hey, Miller. Hey. Okay. Hey, Vaclav, we need to talk to you. The cute agent is back. What's the cute agent thing? Shh. Hey, listen. Did you hear that? What? It's probably a movie. No, I don't think so. Actually, I think it's from the movie Clockwork Nightmare. No way. This is for real. Ah, come on. It's called Suspicion of an Officer. Oh, man, Victoria. Call Tate. Oh, crap. I will. Later. Why does she always like oh to kick God, doors down? You were like, absolutely right. It's like a movie. You're not funny. We could get into serious trouble. Christ, Miller, lighten up. Let's check out his room. Oh my God. See, I was right. It is Clockwork Nightmare. I fucking I I kind of find the main character a little annoying. Honestly, I think like the really shit like sarcasm she does is really dumb and annoying and stupid. I hate him. This guy is a player. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is a game. This is a streamer room right here. This is the Discord mod room. This guy is twisted. Oh, stop it. Did you see the pictures on the wall? Yeah, so Gore films, crime scene photos, porno. Need I say more? You just described three quarters of adolescent America. He's harmless. We're here to ask about the prince. We aren't here for character assassination. We'll leave that part to the lawyers. <sighs> this guy got the cum rags. The hey, ice an officer to guard box. The door. I want to look at this. I bet if I sprayed luminol all over the bed, I'd need sunglasses just to look at it. Ha ha hey ha ha! Get it? He's a coomer. Ha <laughs> ha! He's a loser coomer who just sits in his room. Now I've seen some pretty gross stuff during my career, but a pair of his underwear just took the number one spot. Why? I think these dirty clothes have melded together to form a new life form. Hell yeah. 
Various pictures of serial killer victims. Various pictures of serial killer victims. Various pictures of serial killer pictures of serial killer victims. Various pictures of serial killer victims. What is this? I didn't know they ever made a sequel to Clockwork Nightmare. Dude, I'd love Clockwork Nightmare. Various articles on serial killers. Various articles on serial killers. Oh look, it's the award winners. Bundy, Gassy, Berkowitz, Ramirez, Fish, Ridgeway, and DeSalvo. I'm pretty sure this guy, isn't he like, kind of interested in this kind of stuff? Maybe he just, maybe he just really likes to do this on his dirty ass wall and it's, it's, he like glued it to the wall to the point where it's like fading into it. Like it's becoming part of the wall. That is so weird. That is some weird stuff going on there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Okay. What's going on? Police business, miss. Ouch. Hello. You must be Mia, right? Yes, and you seem to have me at a disadvantage. What? I'm Agent McPherson, and this is Detective Miller. You wouldn't happen to know where Vaclav might be. Actually, yes, I do. I saw him at work. He was getting a massage or taking a hot bath, whichever. Where do you work? Where do you work? Here's my card. The address is on the back. Can you check it out? I'll meet you over there. Sure. Better than being ignored. Do you mind if I ask what you do there? Not at all. Actually, I could show you if you'd like, because I can see all that tension in your shoulders and neck. My apartment is just a few steps away. Thanks for the offer, but I have to decline. I really need to talk to your friend, Vaklav. Friend? Vaklav is a nice guy, but he's no friend. He's a neighbor at best. Sorry to interrupt the flow of your questioning, but can I be totally blunt here? Uh, I'm not sure I want you to, but go right ahead. Uh, okay. Are you spoken for? <sighs> not quite what I expected, but then again, it could have been worse. To answer the question, yes, I'm spoken for. No, oh, how unfortunate. I don't have what? much time to chit-chat now, but I will contact you later. I'd like to ask you a few more questions. Any time. My offer still stands if you ever change your mind. I'll be in touch. What does that mean? I'm st What did she say I'm still in for? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh I'm I'm spoken for. What does that mean? Are you spoken for? What does that mean? You call Miss McPherson? Yes, I need you to guard the door in case Vaclav Kolar shows up here. Description? About five eight, black hair, glasses, and he has a scar on his face. Okay. I'll call in if he shows up. Alright. Thanks, Tate. I didn't see the scar. Officer Tate, thanks. Just kind of kick down the door. You know, property damage is fine. Didn't even have a warrant. I don't even know if she needs one. Oh boy. Look at that 4x4. Four four. All right, so I guess we will go to Red Lantern. Whoa, that's the boy. I think I might have screwed up. You didn't try your tough guy routine, did you? I might have, yes. What happened? I only said that I needed to talk to one of the clients. He wouldn't let me in, so I asked him again, this time with some subtle encouragement. You mean you flashed your badge in his face, right? That pretty much sums it up, yeah. 
then what? He asked for a warrant, so I'm screwed. No way we can find a judge at this time of the night and so close to the holidays. Correction, we are screwed. But wait, I might have an idea. Stay here and see from this backup. You know what he looks like? Yeah. Wait, what are you up to? Just watch the door, I'll be right back. Oh ho! This kind of looks like the, the Ghostbusters tower. Hello. Sorry, baby, but I need to see your pass. I don't have my pass. I was wondering if you could let me in anyways. Then y'all ain't going in. Y'all must be the new girl. It always be the same old motherfucking routine. Listen, y'all don't forget your pass. Y'all forget it, y'all don't work. You really can't bend the rules just for tonight? Yo, listen up, mama. A rule is a rule. It'd be my ass if I let y'all in. I thought they'd brief you. They did. It's just I live really far and it costs me a fortune in cab fare. So take a cab. They pay for it. I'm sure it's not a problem. How would it look to you if you start someplace and you're already asking for money? It doesn't make me look good. Yeah, I see your point, but I still can't let y'all in. How many girls besides me? Four. Are you sure they brief you? Yes, they did. Do you like working here? I mean, how is it? Yeah, I like working here. It's not bad at all. Better than where I used to work. I know about my end of things, but on your end, I have to say, y'all should all be asking one of the other girls. Well, I gotta head back and get that pass. Sorry about that, but I really got no choice. I understand. Hmm. 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 Okay. So I guess we need to get the pass from what's her name. Or well, that wouldn't make sense, would it? The idea didn't work. I gather. Yes and no. I have to see Mia and try to convince her to give me her pass. Can you stay here and watch the place in case Kohler decides to split? Sure. Can you get me some milk bones while you're at it? What? Milk bones? You mean like the dog treats? What the fuck? Yeah, can you get me some milk bones while you're at it? <laughs> what the fuck is it? No, milk bones are the dog treats, right? Yeah, it's a dog treat. Why is he asking for a dog treat? What? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll... Find Mia. Oh, hi. Hi, Mia. You had a change of heart? Sort of. I need a favor. Even better. Come on in. Uh oh. Hello. This is a nice house. Yes, okay. I'll be right down. I have to go downstairs for a second. Make yourself at home. But Mia, all I need is... I won't be long, promise. Okay, I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go... Oh, it's not showing the game. I'm so sorry. God damn it. I'm so sorry. You didn't miss too much. You just missed, um... Her existing. Actually, I could probably... Reload my save just so you can see the cutscene again. Yeah, this is the campus. Yep. Okay. I I'll just I'll just show you the cutscene again so you can see it.
Might be. Here we go. Climb upstairs. We'll go ahead and have that conversation again so you can see it. Officer Tate. Oh, hi. Hi, Mia. You had a change of heart. Sort of. I need a favor. Even better. Come on in. Hello. There we go. Yes, okay. I'll be right down. I have to go downstairs for a second. Make yourself at home. But Mia, all I need is... I won't be long, promise. Okay, I'll wait. And you know what? Since we're going to be waiting here... I think I'm going to go quickly use the restroom and get myself another drink. Yeah, I'm about finished with this water here, so I'm just going to quickly finish it. Mm -mm. Done. All right. So I'll be right back, and uh, you wait for her while I uh, go BRP. All right, I'm back. I need to. What? I guess I'll just go in here. I'm gonna grab my. It looks like half of an apple. What did she say? Hold on. It looks like half of an apple. It looks like half of an apple. Yeah, it does. You're right, it does. It looks like half of a fruit. That kind of looks like an apple. So whatever apples look like. It looks like half of an apple. Then it probably looks like that. Uh, this is an interesting bed design. I wonder where that was taken. Hey, this looks like the girl whose photo we found in the body. Nice. Oh, she's back. Mia, who is this? Oh, that's Steph. Oh, shit. I was supposed to meet her to do another portrait of her. Where were you going to meet her? And why? What's wrong? Just tell me where. Uh, at my studio, 4455 Beauregard. Okay, I know the place. Please, Vic, what's going on? No time to explain. Just stay here. Don't 
Move. Okay. Bum bum. Bum bum. Bum bum. Dun dum. Da dum. Dun dum. Dun dum. Dun dum. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. Dum da 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 Hi honey. Da 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 da. Have you finally come to see the exhibition? No, not really. I need you to open the gate outside. I have to get into one of the studios. Sure, but why? I finally have a lead in my case. And it's in one of my studios? <laughs> What's going on? Yes. Well, it's a person who might know the killer, and she's inside. I really need to talk to her. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hurry up. Very nice, very f uh, pretty, and modern, and... I would have appreciated you taking an interest in my work. Oh my god. Vic. Shit. Oh my god. No. Mia! Wait! Shit. I have to stay here to secure the scene. Call the police and go find Mia. Okay. The music has kicked in. Shit. Ah, oh, great. The rose is under the lift. I can't reach it. Uh, card, use that. Okay. I can't reach it. Ah, shit. Okay, hold on. I can't reach it. Okay, we'll just get that later. Oh, my God. A sinner's... A sinner's pardon. A sinner's pardon. Oh, boy. Jeez. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh no. It's written. A sinner's pardon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, man. That's fucked. Okay, bleach. There's paint. Oh my. If I go this way, we'll. What will happen? Oh, great. Chain. Ah, we could probably use the chain. Hold on, let's take a look at this. She's next. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we have a chain now. If we come over here. Could we use the chain to get to that? The rose is under the lift. I can't reach it. The rose is under the lift. I can't, I can't reach, reach it. it. Is there a way for me to move the the lift? Is there a way for me to lower it if I go inside? Ah. Okay, well, we need it. 
that's a hook. Probably the lower mm. deck Let's try the, uh, this. Okay, there we go. This is so complicated just to do this. Okay, let's grab the rose now. But bam. Hmm. Interesting. Browning. Who? Why wasn't I informed? Don't bother, I'll tell her. Okay. Agent McPherson. Miller has a Vaclav Kolar in for questioning. Why wasn't I informed of this suspect? Because I really don't think he's relevant to the investigation. Well, your partner seems to think otherwise. Anyway, he's waiting for you at the office. Okay. Well, I need to take a look at this silver rose here. This untextured rose. This really is just an untextured rose that they made and they didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> okay. Let's talk to her. Hey, sweetie. Busy now, but come back later. I'll have more for you. Awesome. Agent McPherson, your partner is waiting for you. Okay. My partner is waiting for me. What do you have to say, Officer Tate? Yo, Miss McPherson. Y'all don't let that asshole Browning get to you. Thanks. Thanks, gamer. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go ahead and make a save. Okay. Alright. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Where the fuck is my car? Let's go take a let's let's have a conversation with our buddy. He's either at the office or I guess he's at the office. Okay. So let's go to the office and I guess we'll talk to our partner in crime, Mr. Miller. <laughs> Master Miller. All right. Take your time. No need to rush. Victoria, over here. He's in there now. What happened? A new murder? Hello. Hi, Vaclav. I believe you've met Detective Miller? Yes. Uh, am I in trouble or something? Well, sort of, yeah. I've done nothing wrong. Can you tell me where you were three nights ago? Yes, I was probably working on my thesis. Probably? I assume because that's all I do, or tutor students to make ends meet. Why would he specifically remember what he did three nights ago? That's how you met Natalie. Yes, I was her tutor at the university, and that's all. Let me show you a picture of Natalie. Did you do that to her, Vaclav? No, I didn't do anything to her. It's different when you know the person, isn't it? Maybe you should reconsider how you decorate your room. Tell me how you met Natalie. Did you drown her before eviscerating her? I didn't do that to her. So how did you meet her? I saw her ad on the school bulletin board. What about Cynthia? How did you meet her? You killed Cynthia the same way you killed Natalie, huh? I told you I met her at Mia's party. Then how come we have partial prints at Natalie's crime scene and Cynthia's crime scene that match your prints at a 99% probability? Did Cynthia resist? Is that why you beat her up so bad? I didn't do anything to her. I get why Natalie would have parcels of you, but Cynthia? Something doesn't fit. You hired her, right? What? Relax, Vaclav. I just want to know what happened between you two. Oh. <laughs> yes, I did. I mean, yes, I hired her. Cynthia worked at the same place where you were picked up tonight, right? Yes. Mia and Cynthia worked there, but they didn't work the baths or do massages. What did they do? They worked in a special club. Only certain members have access to another room. What is this place? A brothel? I don't know. I never went, but I know that I saw some important people. 
That's enough. You're free to go, Mr. Kola. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What was that, Detective Miller? Why are we letting him go? On what grounds? He's definitely not a suspect. The prints are a match, but they're circumstantial evidence. I'm out of here. Wait, Agent McPherson. No, you wait a goddamn minute, Browning. Prints are not circumstantial evidence, you idiot. Uh oh. Prints are not circumstantial evidence, you idiot. They said passionately. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten so little done in this game. I don't even know how much is left in this game, to be honest. Um... Red Lantern. Yeah, we have to go back to... Richard's gallery? Go over here. I guess... I, I assume that we're gonna come help out again. Babowski. This might be a three-parter stream. Today. Um, because... I need to eat dinner. I have some other stuff I'm planning to do as well. Do you have anything for me to do? Hi, Claire. Hey, sweetie. What's up, sweetie? You look whiter than aspirin. Well, I'm a little freaked out. Okay, Claire is worried now. Talk to me, sweetie. I've been reading my grandfather's journal. Well, it's not really a journal, more of a case memoir. Anyways. It's about a case he was working in Prague. He was hired by some local prostitutes to help stop and arrest a serial killer. My grandfather accepted freely, too. Well, to cut a long story short, the murders in Prague resemble the ones we have now. I have this eerie feeling that the killer knows my background and he's mind-fucking me. You think that our killer found out about your grandfather's case in Prague and is now copying that killer's M.O.? That pretty much sums it up, yes. That is freaky. If the killer does know about your grandfather's case, why not be more blunt about it? What do you mean? Well, why doesn't he rub your face in it? Be more obvious about it. He is, but I'm not picking up the signs. Like the message, disturbed sanctuary. And now this one, a sinner's pardon? He is definitely rubbing it in my face. I'm just at a loss for their meaning. Did you finish reading those memoirs yet? No, but trust me, I will. I have an errand to run first. It's a good hmm. theory, but I think you should finish reading it. So what can you tell me about this one? She died by strangulation. Look at the lesions on her neck. Like victims four and five, she was eviscerated. Again, the mutilations were probably done post-mortem. But he did something completely different <clears throat> this time. What's that? He put some of her intestines in the paint buckets. I noticed she was missing some, so I looked in one of the cans. In all my years of service, I've never seen anything so grotesque. Do you think that there are two of them working together? No, I don't think so. It's not common to have two serial killers working together. I can only remember two cases, the Hillside Stranglers and Lucas and Tool. No, this is the work of one man. He's changed his pattern to match someone else's. The first three were beaten and drowned in water. By the fourth victim, the killer started to mutilate the body by evisceration. But the cause of death was still drowning. The fifth victim was pretty much the same. Hmm. Is there anything else you can tell me? Not really, sweetie. This one's hard due to all the damn paint. I'll give you a full brief later. Okay. It's people working around the clock. Did you remove anything from the crime scene? No, why? Yes, you did. Oh, come on now, Victoria. I know how you like to cut corners, especially when you get to a crime scene before I do. What, you think I forgot what you pulled on the Mississippi case? No, I would never assume you would forget anything, actually. 
Yes, there was a photo in the victim's left hand. Also, I grabbed her work pass. Oh, uh, yeah, I found a silver rose under the elevator over there. So that's why I haven't found anything. Victoria, please don't do that again. Or do it, but tell me what you took before you rush off to God knows where, okay? Promise. Okay, thanks for the info, Claire. It's not much, but it's a start. God, I hate Victoria. The only time she's ever bearable is when she's talking to Claire. <laughs> it's the only time. Uh, okay, so... Stephanie's ID pass for the Red Lantern Club. I It could work. The problem is... That she needs to look like her, right? So, do I need to go to a mirror or, like, try to do my hair so I look like her? Or what? Doesn't exactly explain it. I mean, I, get, I can try. Let's see. <sighs> Let's go to... The Red Lantern. Try it again. Actually, hold on. Let me do a little, uh, uh, save. Alright. Cool. Howdy. Not a good idea. He won't let me in unless I show him a pass. <laughs> okay, I have a pass, so yes, I need to, like, decorate myself, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so we definitely need to go do that. Do I need to go do that at the not my house or I don't think I had access to a bathroom, did I? Um I guess I'll go talk to what's her name since she kind of ran off. Let's see. She's still at her house. Let's see here. Just kind of left a piece of wood. He's not there. Yeah, but what's the little piece of wood doing there for? Is that a piece of wood? Or I can't tell. Let's see. Mia's not there. Mia's not there. How do you know? Did you knock? You, she just senses that they're not in the, <laughs> in the room. <laughs> in their own house. Okay, so I guess that won't work. I thought maybe it would make sense, but I guess I'll go to Pat's house. I uh, I don't I don't know. I'm at a loss right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Let's go I guess back to the, either the office or the I guess I'll go back to the house. Just see if there's anything I can do here. <sighs> Early 2000s are always comfy. Comfy vibes. Boom. 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 Okay, I guess I'll go into my room. Let's see. Nothing happened. There's my little teddy bear. Teddy and I used to be inseparable. Hmm. Okay. That's not gonna work. Let's try in here. Is there anything I can do in here? This is a really nice office. I love this office. One of my grandfather's old paintings. It's from when he was in Paris, I think. 
G. McPherson. McPherson, sorry. Bonsai tree, that's what it's called. I figure I remember the name. Bonsai tree. Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? Um Guess I'll just kinda talk to uh her, him, this guy, he's still working on it, yep. Anything I can do for you, sweetheart? No, Dad, I'm fine. Okay. Well. There's actually a remastered version of this song. I guess I'll go to my office. I, I don't... I don't fucking know. And then I guess I'll, I'll use the tools to look at my shit that I have currently. I'm I'm at a loss right now. She doesn't even have a watch. Why did she pretend to look at at her hand as if she had one? Okay, well, I guess I'll try using this. Wait, hold on. It's a paper cutter. Here we go. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Very specific, I see. Okay. So I need to get a picture of myself. It's a paper cutter. It's a paper cutter. So I guess I need to find a picture of myself, right? So maybe I go to my house and find a picture of myself, right? That would make sense. So let's go back to my house. Or Pat's house, I mean. Let's go back to the house. Boop. We actually never see her house, if she even lives in her own house. Maybe she just lives with her parents still. And then we'll, we'll go there, and then we'll do that shit, and all that jazz. I need to sneeze. <sighs> okay. Look at that flux capacitor. That's right here. <laughs> Alright. Let us find a picture of ourselves. Hey, <laughs> ding a dog. Hing a ding a dog. Um, where would a picture of myself be? Either in my room or maybe Pat? This guy would know. Dad, do you think Daddy would know? Let's talk to Daddy. Anything I can do for you, sweetheart? No, Dad, I'm fine. Uh, Daddy won't help. Okay. I guess I'll check the this room. There's no pictures. Do you people just don't have pictures of yourselves in your house? 
Like, what? How the fuck do you not have a picture of yourself in your own fucking house anywhere? What do I want to do then? Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? Why the hell do you not have a picture of yourself whatsoever? Do is that do I just not need a picture of myself? Is that it? Do I just go in there and show the badge without the picture? That's definitely not suspicious at all. I need to put my picture on the pass. He might actually look. Oh my fucking god. What do you want me to fucking do then? Where do I get the picture of myself? I need a camera, right? I need a camera. The only camera I know of is the one from... At the office. Maybe it's in the basement of the office, right? Richard's gallery. Let me go to the office again and find that camera. It's the evidence shoot. It's the evidence shoot. It's the evidence shoot. I don't need to do that. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's try the basement. I I don't know where the fucking camera is. I, I guess I'd have to ask what's her Claire for the camera. I that's that's another guess. I, I'll fucking ask her. If she's not in here. Either that or it's somewhere else. Let's check in here. Locked. Claire must still be at the murder scene. Uh check in here. Um a reanimator deck. They're wicked. <laughs> it's in the trash can. My God, it stinks in there. This room doesn't have anything. It's over here. The bathroom. Oh yeah, this has like one comment. I never use mixed public washrooms. They're just too icky. So this is, okay, so we're going to have to use this because there's no reason this area should be made if it's just for commenting purposes. We've never used it once yet, so there's a huge, big, big boy, huge chance that potentially, um, potentially we have to go in there to use the mirror because... <laughs> Apparently, they don't have a bathroom in her house, and no other place has a bathroom other than specifically the bathroom at the office to do her picture. Okay, let's see here. Richard's gallery. Come over here.
Victoria, be careful and call if you need me. I will. She has an old phone. And I'm at a loss. Only other person I know who would have a picture of me is the one dude. Oh. I should leave these two alone. I should leave these two alone. Oh my god. God damn it. I don't want to look at the pictures. Okay. Um I guess I'll end it here. I I don't know. I just for now I don't know what the fuck to do. So and food is done. So I better go make my food. Oh, hi Lex. Um yeah, so I don't know where I'm even supposed to go to be honest. Like, I, I'll try one more thing. Um. If it's not at Pat's, I, no campus, it's definitely not the fifth murder scene. Where do I go to get the camera? Maybe campus? Well, no, they're not here. I don't fucking know. Okay. We're gonna stop here for today. I just, um... I've done it enough. I'm gonna just... We'll figure it out tomorrow. I just, I don't know where to look. I'm sorry. I don't know where to look, so... Uh, I'm... I'm just, I'm so fucking frustrated, dude. Okay. I hope you have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, and a good night. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.